yes to first uh, have a to have a basic idea about the disease we do a detailed clinical examination as i told you note down for features of coarse facial features look for liver and spleen enlargement any cardiac abnormalities then we take x rays where we have very specific findings that are characteristic of mucopolysaccharidosis and that is called multiplex dysostosis so having all these on x ray also tells us okay this child is uh, probably suffering from mucopolysaccharidosis then we order a test called urine examination for gans or glycosaminoglycans so in children with mps they because there is extra accumulation of gans they excrete a lot of it into the urine and identifying uh, higher amounts of gans will help us also to think of mps as a primary diagnosis to confirm this however we need to look at the levels of the enzyme so as i said before here the enzyme is alpha iduronidase so finding a deficiency of this enzyme tells us that this child has mps1 and genetic confirmation will help us in doubly confirming the diagnosis